So a lot of people in the content creation sphere will try some means or some tactic to gain followers or gain subscribers or just in general grow their channel through some means. Whether it be using Twitter to promote a video or saying that you're going live on Twitch or promoting a new post on Instagram or even help a new post on OnlyFans. Whatever it may be, people want to grow. They want to grow, they want to grow their influence, but it's not always easy and that's just the, that's the way of things right now. Enter a growth platform, a type of service that taps that they can grow your influence through some various means, whatever that may be. Most of them are bullshit and should not be taken seriously, and that includes player.gg. Basically what it is, it's just, a, at least the name of the very least, it is a weirdly spelled player with the ubiquitous gg at the end. And it's not really trustworthy, in my opinion, and we'll go take a look at that today in this video where we take a quick little look at uh, player.gg and I explain to you exactly why you should steer as far away from this as you possibly can. Let's get into it. Uh, before we begin, I'd like to mention that I do stream on Twitch sometimes. Uh, right now, my schedule is very wonky right now, and it's very difficult to maintain in a consistent schedule. So if you like to see what I'm streaming every week, if I'm able to, I will post the schedule on my Twitch page whenever I can. Um, I've been trying to move towards some more midday streams so I can actually get something in before I have to be elsewhere at that time. So hopefully I'll be trying that soon, but hopefully also in the next couple weeks things should start leaving out as well. But if you'd also like to join the, a wonderful server with a bunch of other wonderful people, uh, creators and people alike, uh, the Spurgeon Empire is very open for you. So if you would like to join that, the link to that will be down below. Anyway, let's get into the video. So let's start with the obvious. What the hell is Player.gg? Well, Player.gg at its core is a platform for organizing giveaways. And somehow they tout that uh, these giveaways will generate up to 34% of growth for your channel. We'll get to that number again a little later, but let that sink in for a minute. Campaigns for giveaways grow your channel by 34%. That's a pretty significant number if I haven't seen one. They also offer analytics, which is okay, great. Everybody offers analytics in social media. That's how you keep track of how you're doing. But what does it all mean though? Well, as everything you mentioned above does sound pretty benign. At least to me it does. But when you dive a little bit deeper into it, it gets a little bit more muddy. Now, here's the problem. Growth does not come from giveaways. It just it just doesn't. It, it, it's, it's not something that happens, at least naturally. It's, we, we, if it, and if it does happen, it's artificial growth and nobody wants that. Growth truly comes from making good content, making consistently, and making it frequently which is probably the same thing but you get the idea you know you're if people when people see your content and they like it they'll be more inclined to watch more of it and if they like enough of it to the point where they're feeling financially liquid they'll feel more feel, feel, feel more compelled to throw money at you just giving them things is not going to compel them to do that in fact it probably do the opposite where they probably want more stuff from you from free than give you anything that's just the way of that's just basically human nature so by not focusing on making quality content, you're hurting yourself by using platforms such as player.gg simply because, well, for one thing, their marketing is bullshit. And frankly, using them to begin with is not really anything useful. Unless you're actually organizing a real campaign to organize a real giveaway that is not intended to help grow your channel, then I, I would probably say that, you know, player.gg would be a good platform for that kind of thing. It's just that the pro my, my pro biggest problem, one of the biggest problems with these things is that there's marketing, uh, misleading marketing all over the place. There are buzzwords plastered everywhere. It's kind of a mess. And it kind of concerns me because people are gonna go into this thinking like, oh, I'm gonna grow 34% every time I run a damn campaign. I'm gonna get so big overnight. I'm gonna be the next PewDiePie and everything like that. And then they then then they get into it and then they, re they get really disappointed because they didn't grow at all from running the campaign. So it's this millennium marketing gets people in the idea that they're going to they're going to grow, but when the reality they're not. And that's just the sheer fact of that. So how does player.gg stimulate growth? Well, uh, it's simple but very misleading. So basically, how they tout on the website is that you run a campaign, and that campaign somehow in turn incentivizes donations and whatnot like that. And I don't think that's how it's going to work. I just don't think it's going to work like that because. You can't incentivize people to donate towards you if they're getting something for free in return. I mean, that's just not how economics work. Basic economics of that matter. So when you give away something to people, they're going to expect more free things from you and they'll feel less inclined 
on their own terms to provide back to you, whatever that may be through, through stuff in the mail, or it would be through uh, donation subscriptions or super chats or whatever. They're gonna feel less com compelled to do that because, oh, I got free stuff out of this guy. Mm, I probably could get more free stuff out of him. But they're not gonna donate to a cheese guy because they're giving something away of their own, but they, want something, but they want something bigger in return. And they're not gonna get that from giving you money. So this misleading marketing, again, gives you the impression that, you know, if you run these campaigns, you're gonna get, you're gonna make a good amount of money. And nowhere on their website that they do have disclaimers that says like, hey, by the way, none of this is proven. It's just misleading marketing literally all over the place. So on their website homepage, the homepage that you first land on, they tout 34% per campaign. <laughs> but if you go to the features page for creators, it's a little different. On the, on the page for creators, they tout it as 40%. And when I was researching this video, I was like, uh, excuse me? You said 34% on your homepage. Uh, what's going on here? So I couldn't find any further information beyond that because this company is very secretive about how they run their business. But that one discrepancy alone is caution enough for me to say like, mm, I don't think I'm gonna support this company because all they're basically saying like, hey, uh, we're lying to you, basically in front of their faces, but some people just don't notice it and they go through with it anyway. <laughs> So, last question, is it a scam? Well, when it comes to player.gg, yes, I would say so, it is definitely a scam. Uh, it is, there is misleading marketing literally everywhere, it's plastered with buzzwords, it tells you different date, uh, pieces of data, depending on the context. It's not a very trust, trustworthy website, in my opinion. Now, don't get me wrong, there are more than uh, growth platforms than just player.gg, but most of them are quick fixes, and quick fixes never last very long. You, we should know this by now. So basically, uh, if you want to get into using player.gg, uh, uh, make sure you're a bigger creator first because it's the only way that I say would work or at least help you help you in that case because if you're a bigger creator, and you're really gonna be making more money out of it, basically, is what I'm trying to say. But for the smaller creators, my answer is simple. Just make good content, make it consistently, consistently and just try your best to move up through the ranks. It's gonna be a very long haul, very, very long haul. And if you don't have your head in the game, really, it's when what's the point? Don't use these platforms as quick fixes. Like as I mentioned before, they're, they only don't last very long. So the better, you, the more work you can put into your content now and grow through that means, the better off you'll be. Because nobody likes someone who likes to take shortcuts. People like, like those who work hard for their, for their status and work hard for their things than people who took shortcuts and got them for free basically what I'm trying to say here. Well, that was a little bit of a video. I'm sorry if I ramble on again. I've been trying to practice uh, more charismatic my charisma a little bit, so I'm talking to the camera and I'm not, you know, I'm focused on the task at hand. Because that's been a bit of, kind of a big problem lately with uh, with my videos where I'm just not really focused on the task at hand because my mind wanders a lot. But um, leave it down in the comments below. What do you, what do you think about player.gg? Do you, do, you, do you think, in your opinion, that it is a viable platform for at least some some sort of growth. Uh, I doubt you're going to be right about that one, but you know what? You can, we will always love discussion down there. And uh, if you like the video, please consider giving me a like and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. I've been trying to get videos out a little bit more frequently. I've been trying to work hard. I've, I I know I fell into a slump through the much of February, and I've been trying to get myself out of it, but more videos should be coming down the pipeline soon. Streams should be starting back up again soon, hopefully. And yeah, if thank you for joining me, thank you for joining me for this this one, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.